Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorials, I was using uh, uh, LLM called Starlink uh, for uh, experiments with Sparrow and with data extraction from documents and convert converting the data to JSON. In this video, I'll show you how it works with another LLM uh, called uh, Notus. And you'll see that in terms of Sparrow, there's almost basically nothing uh, you would need to change, just the name of the LLM and configuration file. And this is thanks to Olama uh, tool that allows to run LLMs locally. And uh, with Olama, you basically run LLM instance like you would run a Docker container and it's easy to manage and maintain uh, different LLMs and switch between them uh, as you wish uh, any, uh, at any point of time. Okay, so here we got the name uh, of LLM that I'll be using in this example. So today it's Notus. Uh, if I'd like to use Starlink, then I just can uncommand Starlink, command Notus, or uh, I could use Open Grimes, uh, and I could use any kind of contentization uh, based on the machine that I'm running uh, LLM. In this case, I'm testing uh, LLM on quite uh, low performance uh, uh, separate machine, uh, Apple M1 processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Just uh, uh, my point is to see uh, to prove that it works on a low-level machine, this means uh, on on strong machine, I would be would be able to use even stronger model and would get uh, even better results. Okay, so that's uh, the model I'm using. Notus seven B uh, uh, with uh, contentization equal to four. Okay, and this is the remote machine where, where Olama is running. And this week I was working on Sparrow, implementing some improvements, and one of the bugs fix was uh, related to uh, V8 uh, uh, database. Uh, uh, the thing is that when I was running in just task, I was not cleaning up properly uh, previously saved data, and I added this line where through V8 client I'll call uh, delete class uh, here and I pass the index name which is Sparrow and everything uh, which was stored before under this index name will be simply removed and then I'll uh, push here new clear ingest, uh, ingested data into the VAVA to convert uh, text to vectors. Okay, so that's uh, about it and now if you look into the pipeline I, I would like to emphasize that uh, uh, this is the uh, invoke pipeline step where we call uh, llama index uh, and we call uh, as query engine here uh, we say that streaming is false and more importantly here we specify the output class uh, response model which is the dynamic pedantic class which helps to ensure that uh, the output will be in the format that you would expect uh, as you pass through this through the class with uh, the fields and with types and then we use response mode compact this uh, helps to instruct LLM not to return any additional description text but uh, to return only the JSON data and my point here in this video uh, as I already explained this for example the dynamic class how it works in my previous videos you can check um, if you're interested to, uh, about this but my point is that the same approach works well uh, not only with Starlink LLM but with Notus LLM and the good thing about Notus LLM that is completely open source and it's allowed to be used for commercial applications without restrictions because it's based on the same license like uh, Zephyr LLM which also doesn't have any restrictions for the commercial use. Okay, and then here uh, under the engine what we got uh, engine script uh, we have a run uh, function here we construct the inputs and then we do build rack pipeline and we call process query. This is the step where uh, actual question is being taken and uh, full lama index sent to LLM and we producing back the, the answer. And yeah, what logic is, is implemented in the process query is that uh, sometimes LLM may not produce from the first time uh, proper JSON response. So we do check for that, we check if the response is JSON, proper JSON, if yes, then it's fine, we report back the answer. If not, then uh, what we do is we execute the uh, 
uh, call with the same prompt to the LLM. And we do this like three times with the wait time and uh, we hope that we get back the proper answer. Uh, usually if the LLM model is good, then most likely you would get proper answer from the first time. But just in case I have this logic in Sparrow that like uh, three times to, uh, it executes the request if the uh, previous request was not correct. Okay, and now let's see how it runs. Okay, so here under the common prompt, I could execute the prompt and uh, uh, yeah, we, I'm executing Sparrow through common line, but also this option to execute it from uh, from fast API endpoint, for example, if you want. Uh, so that it would be easier to integrate it into your applications. And we pass here the field names that we want to extract and we pass also the type names for each field. Uh, and this way we build dynamic um, uh, Pydantic class uh, which instructs the LLM through Lama index how to return the answer and also Lama index based on this class is parsing the output and constructing this nice JSON structure for us. And uh, I saw there was a question on YouTube for the previous video. The question was, uh, is it important that we specify invoice number to be exactly the same in the same wording like uh, it exists in uh, in actual document? So no, uh, you may have invoice and NO, all, for example, or inf and all. And uh, if you specify invoice number, then LLM is smart enough to understand that you actually want invoice number. Same like with the invoice date, it could be inf date or or, uh, some other kind of wording and you don't need to have precise wording for the uh, field that you specify you want to extract because LLM can guess that you uh, want this field by even if you use different wording. Okay, so now we got back the answer. So this is the nicely structured JSON here and it works with Notus and Notus is open source and you can use uh, Notus in your commercial applications. So if you have a stronger hardware, then you would uh, you could use a um, larger LLM model uh, with better quantization from Notus and it will produce even uh, better results. And this is especially important on more complex documents. So if you have more complex documents with a more complex layout, then you would need to use a larger LLM model. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.